Hey folks, uh, welcome to the Vemi Lab Experimental Graduation 2020. This is uh, this whole thing is going to be an interesting experiment in what can and can't be done. Uh, before I get started, uh, I want to talk about the mask. I'm going to take the mask off, but I want to explain why. Um, one, it's muffling some of the sound that's coming out of my voice. And two, uh, for accessibility purposes, people that read lips or need lips. Um, not that we're trying to, you know, get away from any sort of stay at home orders or anything like that, but in this particular case where it is literally just me and I am six feet away from Grant, who is here working the video, and I'm more than 20 feet away from RJ, who is working some other end, just three of us in the lab. So nobody chastised me, but I'm taking off the mask and we're going to move on from there. Oh, there we go. Now we're doing all right. Um, so we have the chat up. If there's questions, I see that there's already people in here having a good time. And uh, I see Maggie saying we miss you. Miss you too, Maggie. We'll have you in here saying hi. This is going to be an experiment. We're going to give this a whirl. Uh, we're going to see what comes of it. Uh, and the whole thing is going to get very, very interesting when it's all said and done, I'm sure. Um, so let me see here. We're going to start off and, and we're going to just intro the family and friends that are watching this and those who, who are picking this up. We really, normally what we do is we have a giant celebration. We have all family and friends come here and join us in what is usually an incredible celebration with some pretty good pulled pork and uh, mac and cheese. Everybody likes the mac and cheese. Uh, but this year, uh, you know, that's not happening. So we're trying to do something a little more fun. And one of the things that we're doing is this, and we're going to try to introduce you to the lab, show off some of the rooms and the stuff, and show you where your uh, students or, or the students that are on here uh, have worked for the last several years and what they've done and how this whole place uh, works together. So uh, anyway, without any further ado, we have a little intro video, and then uh, we'll get into it. Hello, and welcome to the Vemi Lab. My name is Grant Beals. I'm a staff member here at the lab, and I'll be conducting your virtual tour. We'd love to have you join us in the lab today, but since we cannot, we'd like to show you the space that your recent graduate has spent so much time helping us with research and development, learning and practicing skills, and bonding with the Vemi family. I'd like to begin by showing you what everyone who walks into the lab sees each time they enter the building. The lab is a collaborative work environment, and the open format of our main space really promotes that idea. You can see the array of workstations and desks, where students and staff perform research and development tasks. You can also see, in the back of the room, the most popular spot in the lab, the couch. It may seem odd, but a lot of student time in the lab is spent right here. Just because they're sitting on the couch doesn't mean they're lounging around. We found that the close proximity and relaxing nature of the couch promotes collaboration and camaraderie among students and staff alike. Many programs and papers have been written, meetings have been had, and ideas have been brainstormed right here. But there's a lot more to the lab than our main room. Let me show you one of our development spaces. This room is the main development area for our virtual reality-based experiments and demonstrations. This is the room where you would normally be able to experience and observe student-led and developed VR demos. The open space in the center of the room is our tracking space. That is, the space where participants would be able to move about in VR. Across from our main workspace, we have a secondary VR dev room, which has additional workstations. This room also houses our driving simulator. Recently, we've secured an autonomous vehicle research grant that will allow us to create a brand new motion platform powered driving simulator. Next, I'd like to show you around the lab's basement where a lot of work takes place. This is our newly renovated workshop space. Since its renovation, we've hosted a few events here including our Rapid Research Week presentations and lectures. 
we plan to host more workshops and presentations moving forward. Finally, I'd like to show you what we refer to as the clave. This is our 3D printing workstation and a general project area for soldering and assembly of electronics required for experiments or other lab projects. I hope you've enjoyed this brief tour of the lab and can stick around to help us celebrate all the work that our recent graduates have done. Thank you for joining us. Hey, that was fun. That's going to be about the highest production video we have all night, I'm assuming. Uh, that's because Grant actually had some time to do it. Um, so uh, this is going to be a very interesting and fun experiment for us, and I'm looking forward to it. Let me talk a little briefly about what's behind us. This is the now world-famous Vemi couch. And the great thing about this couch is, is any of our students who are currently lighting up the chat will tell you this has been a centerpiece for uh, collaboration. And as the, uh, it was mentioned in the video, uh, this is a, a real center in the heart of the Vemi Lab. This allows us to get together and play games, put together different events. We've had events put together from in the past by uh, Maggie and, and Adam and gaming nights and all of that stuff has been uh, used here at the couch. So it's really important. You will notice this, the pillows which a lot of people bring up are the, um, yeah, you like the glasses, Maggie? I'm trying it out because I can't see the darn thing. But um, the pillows are, you know, sponsors of people who helped us pay for the couch and put it out there. And anyway, this is the space. This is the thing. It's a little lonely in here, but there's a lot more fun seeing you guys holler away on the chat. So that makes, makes me feel pretty good. Um, so we have, uh, this is kind of an exciting night. And we're really, uh, we're really excited about it. And we have some special guests that have made some videos um, for you guys. And a little thank you and congratulations to our outstanding graduate students. We have nine this year, and that's, uh, you know, very, very exciting. So uh, I think we're going to cut to some of those videos, and uh, I'll be right back after. Hello, Vemi graduates. As your next door neighbors, Rick and I are especially excited to congratulate you on your graduation from the University of Maine. And as your president, I also am excited to, to congratulate you. We know that you've had a valuable experience bringing together what you're experiencing in your chosen major together with the really innovative work that goes on in the VEMI lab to create solutions to all kinds of challenging problems. In particular, I'd like to thank all of you who've been involved in the work in recent weeks to support the state of Maine in solving some of its many challenges during the pandemic. The kind of collaborating that you're doing is in VEMI is the very essence of what we hope for here at the University of Maine, which is the integration of research and learning for all of our students. I know that the difference you will make in the future is going to be based in big part on the kind of experience that you've had here at VEMI. Your future will be fantastic. And we are honored to be, to be the occasional members of the VEMILY, including the Thanks VEMI Dinner and even Rapid Research Week, a fun and educational event that I took part in. We in turn have been pleased to share our leftovers with you during the year. And sorry we haven't had any dinners lately, but of course uh, things got changed. So our congratulations to Boysen Biswas, Nate Brown, Bailey Corliss, Sophie Crockett Current, Adam Farrington, Jess Hulse, Maggie Karras, and Walter Rasmussen. Best of luck. And as we have said in the TV spot and tomorrow's print ad, we can't wait to see what you do next. Congratulations. Yay. Hey, how you guys like that? The uh, president. Farini Mundy and Rick Mundy are right there giving you guys the straight up congratulations and being part of the Vemi Lab. They've been our neighbors now and we, we couldn't have better neighbors. They're very nice, tidy, they're not too loud. They put up with us and anybody who's been here would know that. 
Um, we have some other people who would like to say hi and congratulations to everybody. Uh, we'll flip over to that video. Hi, everybody. This is Emily Haddad. I'm Dean of the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, which is the proud home of VEMI. I really wish that I could be with you in person. Uh, I know how much that contact of one person to another is a part of the VEMI experience, and it's been my honor and pleasure to observe that over the years that I have been Dean. Um, you've accomplished a great deal individually and collectively, and I want you to know how proud I am of what you've done and what you've learned and of the people that you've become as part of the amazing experience that is the VEMI Lab. So I wish you all the best of luck. I congratulate you. And I hope you are able to remember throughout your lives those moments of accomplishment, of picking yourself up after something didn't work, of finding someone who can help you figure it out, help you think about it, and moving on to make it work better. Those are our skills and, and experiences and sense of being in the world that will serve you well. And I look forward to hearing about everything that you've done after you leave here. Congratulations and good luck. Bye-bye. There you go, guys. How about that? Dean Haddad giving you the old love uh, from her home, as we now do in 2020. Apparently, everyone does that. Um, let's see. We've got uh, one more quick little congratulations video. I believe it's from Matt Mullen, who has become a, quite a friend of the lab here. So we'll cut to that. When I graduated from UMaine, Femi was still a couple years away from being established. I'd like to think that sometimes Rick would have taken me in had it been, but then again, whenever I get on second thought, it probably wouldn't have made the cut. Nonetheless, I've been able to sneak out some great swag and pretend that I'm part of the club every now and then. But in all seriousness, in the little over a year since I've come back to Orono to work at the UMaine Foundation in support of things like Femi, it's no clearer to me than whenever I come to Carnegie Hall how special a place more importantly, the people are. Whenever I've talked to Vemi students or alums, the universal thread between all of your stories that you share is how, how Vemi is something different. And something you already know, it's like a family. Not every place on this campus is like that. In fact, very few are. And that's why everything we've gone through this spring, the silver lining of it all, is a reminder of how special that family is and will continue to be in your life long after this graduation. I don't have many wisdom or words to share. I can't even talk right, clearly. But you're all clearly off to bright futures and much smarter than I am. If I can make one request, it's to pay it forward. Support the Vemi family as those before you have done, and I hope those after you will. However that is, whether it's your time, your treasure, and certainly your talents, I guarantee it, you'll come out ahead. Now back to the rest of the festivities, because you're all wondering still, who is this guy and why are they talking to me? Well, the people who have been here this year have not missed who Matt Mullen is. He's been a great, great help around here in helping us raise money and put together some things. I'd like to introduce you all to Dr. Nicholas Giudici, who is now live on screen with me. Uh, he's been my partner in crime for the last 12 years, and Vemi would not exist without uh, all our efforts and all the efforts of the students over the last uh, dozen years. Isn't that right, Nick? Jasmine, I think this is our 11th uh, graduation of students. By the way, nice glasses. Yes, yeah. yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I, I, I yeah. decided I was going blind as a bat and can't read all the text. Yeah, I'm so. hoping it's not contagious, <laughs> yes. you know, but we're worried about <laughs> contagions nowadays. But we have the right equipment for you if it does. Uh, yeah, this is the, 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 we've done this for a while. It's a little bit different without our robes. It's weird not to have yes. the robes, but, uh, you know, that's, that's how it is. And I'm really glad we're, we're here. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't agree uh, more. I, having the big robes on and the hugs out in the uh, front steps, I really miss that. Yeah, and, and the barbecue. Yeah, well, the barbecue, very important. So listen, uh, thank you for emceeing this. As Rick said, we've, uh, we started and have been doing this lab for 12 years. You know, I love this time of year in, in, in that it's this, the time when we get to see our students that we've worked with, some of these people for two or three years, um, you know, head out to the real world. And that's pretty special. Uh, this is the only time that you 
can say that that you're you're leaving college and you're going to uh, the next stage. It's pretty exciting, you know. Beyond beyond research, beyond development, the, the things that we do in the lab that are important. A big part of working in Vimy is learning skills that actually, you know, that are actually relevant to moving on. Things like problem solving and communicating and a willingness to fail on the path to success. These are the things that we talk about, that, but these are the things that people are actually learning. And so often I hear one, two, three years out from alums and, and yes, graduates, that seems like a long time off, but it will be here very soon. Um, you know, we hear about how people's time in the lab has benefited them in something they're doing in their job, or it's benefited something that they're doing in their life. Um, you know, and I'm incredibly proud of that. I, I'd, I'd say without question, student success is the best part of my job. And, and, and this is kind of seeing this as the, as the springboard is exciting. Um, I think of graduation in some ways as a sad time. You know, it's you folks are, 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 are leaving us. Uh, every year that changes the, the dynamics and the culture of the lab. We have to find new nicknames. We have to find new spots on the couch for people. Although I guess that's all going to probably change now anyway. But ultimately, this is an exciting time, right? This is when, when you guys are moving on to the next stage of your lives. And you're, 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 you're doing so with lots of skills and lots of opportunities to support you, whether it be your success or your happiness or your appreciation of your self-worth. You know, these are hugely important. Um, so, you know, I could go on and, 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 and prattle on as, <laughs> no, as I'm ought to no. do. And I, and, and, yeah, but but, but Rick, Rick will cut me off, so that's the problem with allowing him to be MC, I guess. Anyway, you know, mostly at the end of the day, I want to thank each of you, each of our 2020 VME grads, uh, you know, for giving of your time, for giving of your hard work, and for giving of your vitality to us in VME. You know, it makes it makes a huge difference and it's sincerely appreciated. And, you know, let's be honest, at the end of the day, as Rick said, at, at the end of the day, it's we wouldn't be here if it weren't for your contributions. So um, good luck. Have fun. Kick ass. And uh, cheers. It's all cheers. I, I, I wish everyone the best and I'm really excited. There you go. Hey, Nick, you're getting a lot of comments about the blinky hat. There's a big fan here in the uh, comment section on YouTube here about your blink blinking hat. Yeah, I don't see much, you know, but if it's <laughs> shiny or it blinks, I can see it. And Emily found something that did both on a mortar board. So that's, hats that's off to fantastic. Emily. That's uh, fantastic. And, uh, and yeah, so... Any thoughts uh, from you, Richard? No, no, no. This is, a, as I said, this is a very interesting experiment. This has been wild. I'm actually feeling uh, a lot more comfortable now that I see everybody, a bunch of alumni here in chat uh, hitting us up. And uh, by the way, John Cole just gave you a 10 out of 10 for the hat. So uh, <laughs> that's, 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 Thanks, that's John. high rating from it. John there coming in. Yeah, right. You don't get so, that easily. Uh, yeah, this, yeah, it's it's been fun. It's been interesting, and uh, we're going to see how the rest of this goes. I just heard. You know, this has been. This is a. You know, as everyone knows, this is not the way that we expected no. to end 2020 for for these graduates and for all of you folks. This year has been different for lots of people and lots of different situations. But um, I think that we have. Um, you know, as we do, that's what the lab's about. It's about adapting, right? We love challenges. We love to be told that we can't do yeah. something. We do behavioral research that needs people in the lab and we figured out how to make it work remotely. And that's because, you know, the people that we work with, the people that are here are, you know, we don't take no for an answer. And that's, I don't I know, love that. I don't know you if know? you heard the earlier stream, Nick, but the president even thanked us very much for the work we've been doing with the uh, COVID response. So that's pretty good. We've been, yeah, it's been pretty wild. And I, I want all the parents who are listening right now and friends and family to know that uh, I'll, I'll jump again on what Nick said. None of this exists without the students. It is all about them. And uh, we they do it all. So the stuff that we start to show here over the next course of uh, the next hour or so of the work that they do, this, this is all student work. Uh, we're here as guides. And uh, it's really exciting stuff. But anyway, yeah, and I know we're going to move on. I, I uh, you know, one of the things that's a tenant of the lab is to challenge and to be challenged, and uh, uh, that's something that we we always do. So I, I, I worry a little bit with Rick not being able to be directly interactively challenged. So 
hop into the chat uh, chat box or whatever and give them a hard time if if, if you can. Um, yes. That's how we that's how we operate. That's how we they're, succeed. They're working on it. I, I see it on occasion floating by, but yeah, they're they're working uh, on it. Thanks everybody. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm really excited. And uh, yeah, that's. Thank you, Nick. Man, we'll, 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 we'll uh, talk to They're wondering soon. where Bernie is. They need Bernie as a Bernie, guest come appearance. Here. Bernie, come here. There's a request. I told him he had to be quiet. Bernie, come here. <laughs> Evan. Nope, nope. He doesn't want. Don't be oh, bashful. We got a snout. We got a, snout. Yeah, yeah. We got a snout. That's about. Hey, there Bernie. he is. Bernie. Hey. hey. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Have a good night. All we'll right, talk guys. to you later. Have a good one. Peace. So, anyway, there we go. We're having a little fun here. I think we're doing all right. We even got a little special guest from Bernie, so that works out. Uh, we're going to now move into talking about some of the work we do here and some of the, the stuff that we've got around so we can start to show off some of the to the family and friends that are on of, you know, exactly what we've got. So we have a room where we call the demo room or the VR room. It's one of our primary touring spaces. And uh, we got a little video on that, and then I'll be back uh, talking a little bit more about that. Welcome to the Vami Dev Room. In here we've shown a lot of demos over the years, and we're, one of the things that we're doing right now is we have RJ running around a VR simulation in which Walter Rasmussen put together, and uh, Walter is uh, fairly genius at a lot of the things that we make around here. This is a showing off an example of how Walter came up with a way in which we can navigate multiple rooms uh, without actually going anywhere. So um, this is, a, this as you can see, is RJ running around trying to figure out how to get from one room to another, all within a very small and confined space. This actually has a lot of uh, practical applications because a lot of people don't run VR around in their entire buildings, but this allows us to run a very large building in a 16 by 16 space. As another example of work that we're doing here at VEMI, this is what we call our uh, pirate ship uh, that's been put together by a lot of people, Sophia and Walter and Adam and gosh, I don't know, lots of folks have built in a lot of the demos, but this is one of the more fun ones we do and we show off. This is an example of climbing a mast at a big pirate ship and uh, we have a lot of fun seeing who can get to the top and who can't. RJ is working on it right now. When you get to the top, you rip off the pirate flag, drop it down. Uh, it creates a lot of uh, anxiety and stress when you get that high up and look down, but just another little fun thing that we're throwing together here at Vemi. Okay, so what did we learn here? Well, Rick fell into the old, uh, the, the new stereotype that happens. And uh, yeah, the, the, the fun thing here is that uh, you know, during this years and of Zoom and Skype and so forth, uh, we forget that we have to wear real pants. So there's Rick wearing joggers in all these videos. So hey, you know what? But I put on real pants for this show. So that's that's and, and you'll never see the bottoms. That's great. But anyway, the the nice thing uh, the, about all that is that we do so much work in there and we show off a lot of VR related stuff. We were one of the uh, first labs, if not the first lab on campus to start doing a lot of work into practical applications for virtual reality and human subject research. And we continue that and we continue adding that in and we're playing more with augmented reality and other new cutting edge technology whenever we can get our hands on it. So that's uh, all been working out and being pretty good. I have a, uh, I'm going to take a quick moment here. I have a uh, note here from one of our alumni. Uh, Dr. Christopher Bennett has sent in a note here. It says, congratulations to our entire VEMI class of 2020. I had the chance to meet most, if not all of you during our visits. And I know all, all have the VEMI spirit. Always glad to see talent, enthusiasm, and dedication on full display. I know you will full, you will find success in your next endeavors, and I wish you the best of luck. Stay well, and welcome to the Vemi Alumni Club. Now that is uh, that's huge, by the way. A lot of our students right now don't know this, but uh, as we speak, one of the things that uh, RJ is going to be working on is that you will be bumped up 
in Discord to the alumni channel, which I don't even know if you knew existed. But uh, that's going to be fun. We're going to have a whole lot of new people in our alumni channel in Discord. Uh, anyway, this, is, this has been great, and uh, this has been fun and seeing all these things. Did I miss a question as things floated by? Were you okay? No, I think we're all fine. Excellent. So we're going to roll along here, and uh, we're going to talk about, uh, where, where are we? Ed detection? So uh, one of the projects we've been working on here for a while now is using edge detection. Started with uh, old John Cole. Old John Cole. You like it? He's become old John Cole. Um, we started off with John Cole and uh, moved to Adam Farrington. And here's a little video of some of that project. And we'll come right back afterwards. One of the things we've been working on here at the Vemi Lab is using augmented reality to help uh, assist people in seeing things they otherwise couldn't see. For example, we look at edge detection and we can also look at image classification. We've been working on this for the last few years. It started with one of our alum. It transferred to one of our Curtin students, Adam Farrington, who's graduating this year. Adam has spent quite a bit of time looking at uh, this program using machine learning and how we can start to identify things. What we have here is an example. This is a, a simple HMD that's got two cameras on it. And we've got an example of the edge detection that's kicking around. And you can see with my hand that it very quickly can go through. And I can see the classification is also running. That's not helpful at all. Um, you can go through and it quickly detects this. We can actually have this so it adjusts, so you can have it change color. If you're in a different area, if you're walking around grass. But this is great if you're walking upstairs, especially a building like this, which is a historical building that we can't actually put the yellow tape on the stairs outside. So granite steps get a little harder to look at. One of the really neat things about this system and this process is I said we we're doing some sort of an ability to quickly identify images so you can see where things are. We did a lot of work with cups, or Adam has trained a lot with cups. We also started working on, and you can see this, this is our switchboard, and we can go through and it starts to quickly identify light switches. It's a great system, it has a lot of potential, and as soon as we get some more funding for this, we'll definitely be diving into it more. All right, we're back, and I'm live with Hello. Adam Farrington. There you go. Hello. Adam, uh, Adam was uh, the second half of this project picking it up, which is, what is it? It was called Chaperone. Now what is it called? Uh, I believe John Cole, let me call it Keno. And now it's called Chaperone? Uh, I don't, I I don't believe remember so. what the new name is. Um, how you doing? How you feeling? You feeling uh, graduating? What the, what's, what's the deal? Uh, to be honest, I don't feel much different from last week, too. Uh, just one of the things that you keep going forward until you don't really go forward anymore. It's true. Well, it's just less you don't go forward and more you just don't have a goal you're going towards. Um, yeah, we got we, <laughs> we have uh, lots of crazy things going on. Can you talk a little bit about that project with the edge detection and you know, like some of your thoughts on it? Or, I mean, look, you graduated now. You know, maybe some of the things that sucks. Uh, I will finally, now that I'm out of that lab, I can finally voice one of my biggest gripes about it being that John Cole named it after uh, an anime character, and I just had to live with that <laughs> agony for most of the project of the lifespan. Uh, in terms of it, uh, a lot of the edge detection stuff specifically was done before I got there. Uh, John Cole had figured out most of that for the OpenCV before I even got my yep. hands on it. Uh, majority of what I added was that uh, object classification stuff later on. But just uh, it was just kind of getting the project and trying to add my own thing to it was a lot of what that project yeah. was. Uh, I can see Chris Bennett is very upset that I'm making you work even uh, in a graduation stream. But hey, you never know. Even your yeah. old, even the alum will tell you you never know when I'm going to call you and ask you to talk about something. <laughs> that's that's more or less the truth. It seems. <laughs> Well, anyway, hey, listen, you know what, it, it, I, what, we've been working together, what, about two and a half years? Two? Uh, I joined in December of 27, so about two and a half nice. years now, yeah. 
Well, anyway, it, we've had a lot of fun. I know we've had a lot of frustration, but we've gotten it all through. Yeah. I think you've uh, I think you've learned some interesting things, and uh, we've had some a lot of good times. It's been fun. It's been stressful. Uh, end of the day, it's been interesting, which is really all you can well, hope that's, for. Well, that's hey, if you're gonna take a Vemi job, it's got to be interesting. That's the whole thing that goes into it. Yeah. <laughs> you got anything to add to your uh, fellow grad students or anything? Uh. Not a whole lot, really? really. We're just all kind of on our own way. How's this look, by the way? Is this all right? Uh, yeah. yeah. I know not, you can't see me directly, but I'm just wondering. We we worked real hard on the background. We got Emily putting balloons in there, and Stefan even put on. I a got hat. some balloons on my doorstep this Did morning. You? Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Well, hey, listen. Congratulations. I I'm very serious. We we do need to talk. Hopefully, we get to chat with this weekend, but. Um, congratulations it has absolutely been a pleasure and uh, we're always here for you man so it's anytime. been a blast yeah well thank yeah. you man we'll let you out <laughs> All right. have a great you day too. take care I'll be around um, okay so I believe we're going to move uh, to talking about uh, the heart app it is next up so uh, one of the interesting projects that we've had over the last oh, year, year and a half or so, uh, was that we took on a project of making an augmented reality app to show some of the distance medical applications with it. And uh, we got a little video on that, and I'll be back having more fun again. Uh, over here, we have Susie who is uh, one of our new friends here at the Vemi Lab. Susie was uh, brought over by Dr. Caitlin Howell, who's now working here with us. And uh, this is a project that was put together by Caitlin Howell and Val Herbert over in the School of Nursing. And uh, RJ Perry worked on it and Christina LeBlanc, who's a big part of this, putting it together and the research and how it worked. So what we were trying to make is an augmented study aid that would help uh, nursing students and first responders understand some of the actual issues that are going on within the body in a simpler and easier way to understand it. So what we did was made a simple app on a phone and we used a, a little fiducial here, a little marker that we can place on anyone and we're just using uh, Susie for right now. And what we can do is then use the marker to place where the heart would be on the, uh, the body. And you can see it's augmented reality, so you can move around and get a good idea of where it is within the structure and the things, that, you know, the, the stuff that's happening within there. This is also tied into a lesson that we've gotten directly from the school books. And this lesson, as you can see here, you can probably can't read it from there, but this lesson you can go through and it gives you an understanding of what's happening during different activities. This one we're looking at cardiac arrest and we can actually go through and see what happens to the heart during that process. This is another great project that we've worked on here at the lab and this uh, project has involved many people over time and many different faculty. It was a great example of how we collaborate beyond what our normal means are and we've, you know, get some great ideas out of this, and hopefully some future funding will come out of it. It's <laughs> hey, now I'm currently joined live by Christina. I'm going with LeBlanc, because that's the right way to say it. Say hi, Christina. <laughs> what is up, everyone? <laughs> Christina just uh, graduated with her master's, correct? Yeah, uh, with my master's in student development and higher education. Fantastic. How's it mm -hmm. feel to be Master LeBlanc? Oh, <laughs> a master. <laughs> um, you know, it doesn't really feel surreal. It like doesn't feel like it actually happened. We didn't have like that ceremony, like the walk. Yeah. Oh. Uh, we didn't have like the walk across the stage caitlin wants me to just explode this right oh, now okay what, what is it a confetti gun yeah right. um, i say go for it we're all up for entertainment let's go for it uh are you sure Why not? like i, mean, I we're could all in for it yeah 
Yeah, let's do it. I'm in for it too. All right. Um, I just, just I have to like break. Yeah, the actually, seal. this would this would be good. Let's find out how powerful this thing is. Go for it. Okay, should I shoot it Why at not? the? Probably not at my laptop. No, you would. <laughs> I would. But hey, we go for it. Shoot it. Right, I'm gonna. She's oh, I have. Has it up. She's gonna shoot that. Wow. <laughs> wow. Nice. Well done. Well done. How loud was that? <laughs> It was, it was significantly it was loud. A, okay. a lot more fell, like you can't actually see, oh, but like all God. of it. That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is why Christina is one of our favorite <laughs> students and people I've ever met. Christina has more fun than anyone I know. We know that when Christina's in the building, we're all going to be smiling. And now you've now you've made yourself a mess to clean up. But it was entertaining. Um, yeah, it's not my house. I'm just kidding. It, it was absolutely entertaining. Since I'm <laughs> hey, since I'm putting everybody on the spot tonight, you have uh, you have some thoughts on that project I know you helped with with the uh, AR heart education thing. Thoughts as in like I don't know. Have any retrospective thoughts on it? I know you were over there working with the nursing students and running the experiments and tests. Yeah, um, I think like, I think that app, I mean, like, I don't really know what's going on with it right now since I haven't really been with Vemi for, I don't know how, like a year or so, um, but just like you popping in and out. Vemi, um, Christina. You know that. Okay, well, like, like physically I pop leave. in. <laughs> so, yeah. Sorry, that's crazy. I just watched Waco on Netflix. <laughs> gives me okay, no, like, we're not that cult. We're not that cult. I want to be clear to everyone, we're not that cult. Okay. The 48 yeah, people right. watching, you know, yeah, we're not it's like, not like no, we're not that cult. Oh, wait, Charlie, did you just eat that? Oh, the, no. The dog's eating the confetti? I think the dog just ate nice. a piece of confetti. Nice. Oh, no, and she's in heat. She has one of the diapers on. Anyway. Um... <laughs> <laughs> this is the best live video ever. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how, how watch uh, those viewership go up. Keep, <laughs> but yeah, I'm not even looking. I'm looking at how like delayed. Yeah, don't the do video that. that will, your head will explode. <laughs> yeah. Um, I really appreciated the um, working on the AR sim because like it was super um, like different than anything I had really worked on. It was great to work with Caitlin Howell on it and RJ and see a little bit of the development side <laughs> instead of just you know. Um, not really understanding what was going on with the app, but um, I think the app is going to be really useful to nursing students. I think um, they could definitely use it not only in like their studies, learning about like the heart and how it works, um, but you know, continuing on like in their jobs and sharing it with other people. Um, and maybe even like patients, you know, showing kind of like the education of how the heart works and whatnot to simplify yeah, it. Yeah, I so, think it's got a lot of potential um, here in the future and I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to have Caitlin on next and we're going to get to talk about it. So that would be good. Dr. Dr. Howell, as all our students refer to her. But yeah. You want me to lose? Is no, that no, that's not the, that well, I'm, we're, we, we're going to wrap it up. But yes, Christina, get out. No, oh. no, no, no. I could just, hey, I, could, I, I just want to, I just want to say seriously, congratulations. All Thanks. the time I get to spend with you. I love, I hope we get to do our podcast. I know it's been crazy. I know. I really want to do the Christina and Rick podcast. But yeah. I know. And like maybe if it's not super educational, yes. it can be super fun, super let's, random, yes. super silly. Let's That's come up with two about. random objects and discuss it in depth for 30 minutes. Oh, we Like be so celery good at that. and tires. There you go. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, we just no, no, right no. Now? We can't we right shoot? now. I got all oh, the okay. things that I got to get into. We're, we're in the middle, middle, of, middle of, a of a live thing, but, uh, yep. Yep. But yeah, no, I just want to say thank you, Rick. I love our chats. I just want to say, I don't know if I've said this before, but like anytime I come into your office, you're just like, come here. Like we need a chat, like education. I love those. I love every second of those. And you've just been nothing but an well, awesome. Well, like, I am actually going to send you something next week because I need your feedback on it, but we won't get into it right now, but Hey, okay, I love you too. All seriousness. Uh, you're the greatest. And uh, congratulations, I and uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. 
Thank you. Oh, enjoy the show. Yeah, sure thing. Don't watch Wake Don't Up. Watch, okay. It'll remind you too much of Baby oh, no. Demi. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, not sponsored, but you mean... No, uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Christina. We'll catch you later. Thank you. See you, bye. bye. All right, so we're having some fun here. We're kicking around. This is going to be entertaining. Now we get to... Uh, I'm going to pull in uh, Dr. Caitlin Howell, who has been uh, she's been with us for the last few years, joining us and helping us move Vemi along and with some new ideas and mixes. And uh, there she is. Am you I in are right in the right place. You're running with me. Oh, hey. I can't yeah, see you. Yeah, you won't be able to see me. Who do you see, Grant? <gasps> now I can see me. Wait. I had something okay, to share. Okay, what do you got? Nice. We're in the Vemi That's hat. That's right. <laughs> That's right. I can't be upstaged by nope. Nick. Nope. You can't. He got the blink of light. You, you the can, it's a good call. <laughs> So, Dr. Howell, man, thank you for joining us here for the live broadcast. Dr. Corey, it's my pleasure. I'm <laughs> so happy that you guys are putting this together. May I just say you are doing a phenomenal well, job. Really Thank impressed. you. Thank you. We're just kind of muddling through the best we can. But, yes, it seems to be working <laughs> out. Uh, we just showed off the uh, AR Heart app. And uh, next I'm going to be talking about some of the Rainbow Unicorn skin. And uh, do you – I mean, do you have some – some thoughts on the uh, AR Heart app and all that stuff? Yes. AR Heart app, I'm happy to say, is moving forward. Hey. So, uh, yes, yes. Uh, I'm sure you can imagine our uh, collaborator, Valerie Herbert from Nursing, has been a little bit yep. busy given, you know, what's been going on. But we are in the active process of pulling this together and writing it up. There have been a lot of people involved in this, and we really appreciate it. We're going to be pushing that out and publishing it, and then looking to take the next steps to further um, further use this technology that's been developed here at the Vemi Lab. Because now more than ever, it's really, really important to be able to use the technology that the Vemi Lab specializes in, really, to be able to train nurses and people who can help with outbreaks like the one we're in the middle of without having to get close to people. And this is exactly the type of thing that, that we've all developed. So we're really yeah, excited really, about it. Yeah, that's going to be great because when we can really get this down to be a great distance educational tool, I, I, yeah, I, I, it couldn't be a better timing for this moving it forward. So this should be great. Yep. I'm looking at the comments here. There's a whole lot of uh, yelling and hollering for Caitlin and Dr. Hell. I see. My birch I see, tree. I see I Karen's like, asking like for a hat. Karen, we'll get you a hat. I promise. We'll, we'll get you one there. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Oh, they want you to talk about the birch tree. Oh, the birch tree. Okay. So uh, this is actually my son's nursery, which we decorated with okay. birch trees. And, you know, the crappy paintings that we made at the, the paint and sip things that were like, where can we put these? Eh, the baby won't care. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> That's where that is. So uh, you are better <laughs> off explaining uh, exactly what we're doing with what we internally, and let me explain this to any family or people who don't know Vemi language. Uh, we name things weird stuff uh, so that we know what it is later because otherwise it ends up being some boring academic name. So, uh, Caitlin, maybe you can tell us a little bit about Rainbow Unicorn Skin and uh, where we hope for it to go. Yes, uh, so the rainbow unicorns we found uh, roaming around on the grounds around the Vemi Lab. So we went and took them and strung them up, and there goes my phone. We skinned them. <laughs> because that's what we, we do. We skin their unicorns. Skin for their magical properties. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you know it? It's science. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this project is ultra top secret, and only between those of us who are on this YouTube live, YouTube live link, okay? So super yep. quiet. But we are actually working in collaboration with one of the big companies here in the state of Maine who can make materials that can uh, shimmer like rainbows. And that they're using that for a lot of textile stuff. But we're looking at that and going, huh, we can actually tweak this and do some of the things that we know how to do and make it into a material that can test when a surface is dirty or when a surface is clean. Now, this is something we're really excited about for the BVI side of the VEMI research, but also, you know, just in general. 
Wouldn't you like could, to know if that touch screen you're about to stick your finger on has a bunch of goo on it? Couldn't be not? any more important so for that than is, right now. <laughs> yeah, a lot of this stuff is really super relevant. Yeah, it, it's, it's almost great. like we planned it. <laughs> yeah, really is, isn't it, huh? It absolutely is. But yeah, so, so that's what we're working on and, and we're really excited about it. So uh, you have anything to say to the grad students before I let you go? Yes. Absolutely, students, I am so proud of you. You know, it's always wonderful for us as the people who have sort of watched you grow up through the years to be able to see you take this final step and go out and start your lives as independent people. And it's just, it's really been a pleasure being able to work with all of you. And we're all so proud of you. and looking forward really to watching what you're going to accomplish and what you're going to become. And definitely keep in touch because we want to hear yes, about we it. Do. One of the best parts yes, of our job. Yes, we definitely do. And uh, we're hoping to get more Dr. Howell here in the future as I keep grabbing more biomedical <laughs> engineering students. So <laughs> I got I got the hat. You got the I'm hat. That's anywhere. right. We'll move on. That's apparently <laughs> the whole thing. Apparently, if you get the hat, then you never leave. So that works out yeah. great. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. You got anything else to add before we uh, move along? No, let's keep going. Let's rock the show. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad we're having fun. We're entertaining people. That's pretty good. Thank you, Caitlin. Have a good night. See you, bye. Bye, everyone. All right. Um, we're going to uh, hop in and take a 10-second uh, break, and we're just going to make a couple of adjustments here, and we will be right back. All right, that was easy. Quick technical fix. This is what we do when we're doing experimental, uh, I almost called it television. Can we call it television? Why not? We'll call it television. So uh, I'm going to bring into uh, Zoom right now. We've got uh, Oshin going to join us. And there, there he is. There's the man. Hey. Hey, One what's up? One of our up? favorite biomedical engineering students. Our favorite graduating biomedical. Oh wait, I got two of them. One of the two favorite okay. biomedical. How you doing, sir? <laughs> I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing all right. This has been a weird experiment, but you know, I mean, we've made it 50 minutes, so uh, that's something, you know. And, and nothing has really, uh, you know, knock on fake wood. Nothing's gone all askew yet. <laughs> Hey, we're going to pull up, uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about, I know uh, Caitlin just set us up with some of the conversation about what's happening with the Rainbow Unicorn Skin Project and looking at how things are clean and everything, but I was hoping maybe you could talk to us a little bit more about it. We're going to run some video, not, uh, some video of uh, some of the stuff that's out there, and I'm hoping we can, we can talk about you know, where, where it's going, where you are in the process of researching. And by the way, this is real huge and important thing, and everybody should know this. But Oshin here uh, is just signed on as a master's student. He's going to come back and finish this project, and uh, hopefully this is going to be his master's project, and we're all going to be better off for it. And he gets to be part of Emmy for another, oh, what, year and a half, two years? Yes. So, yes, we're very I'm exciting back. about that. So, anyway, you want to talk a little bit about uh, the Rainbow Unicorn Skin? Yeah, I'd love to. Um I mean, this project started, I think, early November. Um, so Dr. Howell and RJ came and they told me about this like mystery paper that they'd been playing with for a couple of weeks. Um, and they said that, you know, as you got different contaminants on it, whether that was um, like oil from your hands, um, dirt, mud, anything like that, um, those colors that you're seeing coming off of it, um, they'll change and the visible differences that you see are different compared to a clean and a contaminated sample. So um, right now I'm actually in the process of going through um, numerous samples of this paper um, and I'm trying to actually 
quantify or figure out what these exact differences are between these clean and dirty samples. And you, so, and you tell this um, through the through the rainbow, the the way the light reflects off it, right? Yeah. Yes, just follow, follow the, the rainbow. Ra- <laughs> that is rainbow. that is how this project oh, works. Oh man, we should have named it "Follow the Rainbow." That, that would, be would cool. have been awesome. But I we're stuck with rainbow unicorn skin, so there you go. Yeah. So this is really so. I mean, what's the next iteration of this? Do you know? Um, I mean, the I think the end game in this, especially with everything happening now, like if there is some way to not necessarily automate the process, but maybe get some AI or machine learning in there to be able to quickly and efficiently um, notify you of like a contaminant that was present, whether that be on like smartphones or autonomous vehicles. Um, I think that's like the end goal, which would be really yeah. cool. Yeah, I think so too. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun over the next uh, couple of years as we try to figure out how to make this uh, a little more efficient and. I'm excited to have you around for a couple more years. You also know what this means. Now that you're a grad student, you get one of the special offices up in the mezzanine level. Yes. This is all I've <laughs> ever wanted. I'm so ready. <laughs> it's the little things, isn't it? It's, it's great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you also get to move over to the uh, Vemi alumni chat. So look at that. You get the best of both worlds. All the oh, way. I yes. do? Yes. Okay, I think, cool. I was worried no, that no, wasn't no, going to no. happen, but no, nice. The only thing I held off is I usually give people, I, I make this graduation book when you, when, yes, I made the book myself. No. I have a book that I give everybody when they graduate, and uh, uh, normally I'll give it to people when they actually leave. Since you're sticking around, I get to wait a couple of years. Much like Christina just got hers, okay. so uh, that's all okay, work out. Cool. But I'm super excited. I'm super grateful you're going to stick around. This has been a lot of fun, and uh, I can't wait to have you as uh, be one of the leaders around here and help us uh, start to drive some of these new projects forward. And uh, yeah, we got some new students coming in, so this is going to be a good time. You got anything else to add there, sir? No, congrats, everyone. Um, I love you all. We're a big family, so. Congrats. Yeah, this, this family's getting bigger by the minute, so it's all working out. Well, thank you, sir. I appreciate you uh, telling us a little bit about the project, and congratulations to you, and congratulations with the Masters, and uh, super excited about uh, what happens next. So we'll talk soon. Thank you, Rick. We'll see you. Okay. Uh, now I have lost track of where the heck I am. Oh, yeah. We were going to talk a little bit about the clave, I believe. So we have a, a spot here uh, in Vemi. It's down now. It's down in the basement. It was originally uh, called the Clave uh, because uh, there was this room in the back corner of the Vemi lab that uh, Clay uh, worked in, one of our uh, alumni, and he always worked in that room. So it then became the Clave. So the Clave has now been moved in the basement to a much bigger space. And uh, that space is now encompasses many things, including some of the biomedical stuff we're working on and uh, a lot of the 3D printers. And we have a little, uh, I think we have a video of uh, some of the 3D printing work we're doing down there right now. In the basement in an old acid etch machine, we have our 3D printers. These printers have been serviced and maintained for many, many years by Sophia and her talented ability to put them back together when they no longer worked, which has saved us on many, many research projects. All her years of maintaining and updating all of this stuff has finally allowed us to go out and buy a new printer so we can get things done, and we've been using it as part of the COVID response system. Okay. Hey everyone, um, we've got Sophia with us, all dressed up and ready. Congratulations! Thanks. Yeah, I don't have a hat. Um, well, I have a hat in the other room, but I can't wear one right now. But I do have two 3D printed geckos. And well, that's perfect. That's how it should be. <laughs> um, how's it feeling? You know, now we're in the middle of graduation. I know that nobody gets to march and everything, but we're trying to, you know, connect everybody in some sort of fun way. And uh, how's it going so far now that I'm, what, 55 minutes into this thing? I've been enjoying it. Um, My cousin has been texting me through the whole thing, asking questions, which has been fun. (laughs) How many people are watching right now? Anybody got the number? 
41? All right, there we go. That's pretty good. Pretty good for Vemi. Hey, listen, over the years, yes. you have been the absolute lifeblood of keeping those damn 3D printers alive. And I know it's been the single most frustration, frustrating things for you. But I'm giving you a <laughs> chance. Do you, you have anything vent, any demons that you want to get out on those, over those? Um, I think the only thing that I have is that I haven't been able to play with the method. Like you finally get a dual extruder printer oh, two weeks after I'm out of the lab. I, I, um, I, I feel a little I, betrayed. Well, <laughs> I'm so sorry, but man, that was a heck of a, that was some um, timing that was unbelievable, but yeah. It really yeah. was. It, yeah. Um, so yeah, so I'm, 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 I feel a little jealous of Theo right now, uh, that he has another few years of being able to play with that and get them working perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> although he's got, he's got big shoes to fill. Cause if something goes wrong, he's going to have to figure out how to fix this and in the technology got newer. So. I mean, um, one of the main problems we had with the maker gear was that I missed a bolt for a year and a half that was just hanging out in the Y belt. So <laughs> <laughs> um, I know that. That's great. That's a great story. I, I told you when I found it. I'm like, hey, you know that that the terrible accuracy we've been having in this one oh. direction. Uh, it's because there was a bolt just sitting in the hardware loose in the way. Because um, I'm uh, I'm good at my job. Yeah. No. Now. No. That was great. By the way, there seems to be a um, lot of excitement in chat for Sophia being in here, and I see Theo is very very excited. So that's that's good. <laughs> Uh, yeah. But you know we've done a lot, and and by the way, I, I think as a as an ongoing tradition, I always ask Sophia, and this is just for anyone who doesn't know, and I'm not going to hold you to like a bunch of oh you got questions, don't you? I'm going to see if oh, I have any in my notes. Funny. So I'll tell anyone else who's watching. Sophia and I have had a thing now for three years, four years. <laughs> Four years. Four years. I've been here. I've been here since uh, October of 2016, and I've been asking you questions about right. that. So long. Sophia has a very interesting habit of asking a bazillion questions all at once. So uh, because sometimes my life gets a little too busy, I now have hold Sophia to a random and occasional uh, three questions, and she keeps a little notepad and throws them together, and then asks me three questions. Now we're on a live broadcast, so you know nothing that's going to get me in trouble. So, oh yeah, yeah. obviously. Um, but if you have any, uh, I don't have I don't have any lists right now. Hmm. Well, we can. Um, if you I got think... any, go for it. I'll I'll be happy. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking up for one really quickly. Uh oh, they're all saying um, this question time in chat. But yeah, you think up one, and we'll see if somebody else thinks up one. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that um, what I think the first question would be. Uh, what is going to be the theme of the next shirt? I know that we were kind of tossing around ideas before everything uh, oh. shut down of um, with like one of the with the duck with the mask on it oh. uh, being an idea that was tossed out. Yes, that's right. There was a that's right. I I made a I made a COVID nineteen Vemi shirt, and I think what we'll end up doing is putting it online on whatever teespring or, or whatever we choose to to raise some money for the students moving forward i think i'll take it and push it out there but yeah i i did the next shirt the shirt that was supposed to go out for uh the main science festival which got canceled this year but yeah it yeah. was I, it was it was the duck with the with the mask on it uh yeah actually oh wait yeah, i have a better sure. question um so i've been trying to explain to uh my family for about four years, what exactly my job is uh, to no avail. What, what would you de define my job Sophia's as? Sophia's job, uh, I'm assuming your family's watching, so let me just say this. Uh, Sophia's job is one of basically a multi-modality of everything. When we get a weird problem uh, that just doesn't really fit into any particular space or time around here, we put Sophia on it. So if it's a matter of Figuring out how we're going to keep virtual cars on the road, we'll put Sophia on it. Figuring out how to make 3D low poly models of what was it, fire hydrants and weird things? It was no, it was it was the initial uh, draft of driving the driving sim. sim. Uh, yeah, because we tried to make it like a low poly Mario Kart before we realized that that was not. Yeah, and then when we moved when we moved our space and expanded down to the basement of Carnegie. There was Sophia's down there saying, okay, we need this, we need this, we need space for this. We haven't gotten it all built yet, but the plans are still in place. Um, 
Isaac and I had yeah, plans. We had like plans. a whole measurement we ran out of and everything. Money, but we get, we'll get there eventually to put this together. But Sophia's job was basically anything that popped up. We had graphic design issues. We had video issues, uh, photography issues, 3D modeling. You were teaching 3D modeling classes for a while there. That was good. I was, yeah. That was fun. We did. Uh, we need to do more of those type of classes. That was a good time. But yeah, um, and then of course anything that went wrong with a 3D printer, Sophia just jumped in because she just loved figuring that out. Oh yeah, soldering. <laughs> <laughs> anything with hot glue no. guns. Yeah, anything like that. Yes, anything that was dangerous. Sophia said, "Me, me." And we're like, "All right, well, okay." And sometimes you yeah, said sometimes, yes. Sometimes, yes. <laughs> But yeah, we got into it. But yes, your your job here was uh, basically jack of all trades, and it was amazing to uh, watch over the years of you grabbing everything and anything that we threw at you. And then sometimes you kept asking for more, and I kept saying, no, 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 you've already got 12 projects. We don't need 12 more. But yeah, we love, I love your enthusiasm. Uh, I love every minute of our Q and A's and all the little goofy moments over the time. And I miss that. I hope on occasion you're going to hop into discord and drop me a Rick question. That's, that's the plan. You have an entire channel for me to do yeah, that with now. True. So really that, you've opened yourself that's, up. That's for a this. very, very good point. And those, those in <laughs> now discord, that we don't have to save them for, for special, for like important yeah. things and that's the you know the one thing is that i i all the tours that you ran uh thank you because tours were getting to be a bit much and that's something that's that a lot of people don't know this but we do a lot of tours at the vemi lab and a lot of people want to come through and see what we do and uh yeah and that was honestly probably one of the favorite parts of my job was you were good at it was yeah was was running tours and, and getting to answer a lot of questions yeah uh, just yeah <laughs> Yeah, you get to answer the question. Yes. Yeah, yeah we great. do. We do a lot of tours. We see, depending on the year, what what somewhere around four or five thousand people come through here a year. So there's a lot of tours, and for a very long time it was just me, and uh, thank God. Um, now uh, Sophia had taken that off and and been able to do that. Now I got to train somebody else because otherwise it's going to be, if we get done with this virus thing, I'm going to have to do tours again. So that's no good. Yeah. But anyway, I, I thank you. I really, really appreciate everything you've done. Uh, you have been uh, one of the instrumental parts of the Vemi family. You will always be part of the Vemi family. And now that I, has RJ put you into the alumni chat yet? I, I don't keep know. bringing it up uh, to will, see if I, he's I have, it yet, so. Yeah, I haven't actually gone and looked. Um, I had kind of forgotten that that was a thing that happened. Uh, I spent a lot of my day to day making cupcakes and reading through the book that we get when we graduate, so. <laughs> Because I've spent four years watching that book get handed to people and never, never know knowing what was in it. it. <laughs> I no, no one would ever tell me. It. I've been giving it out for 11 years I now. I know. Yeah. I've watched people get it for years and I've always wanted to, I've always asked like, hey, what's you in that? You could have no, been no a more appropriate me. person for this book because it answers everything. It is. It's amazing. <laughs> everything from, you know, not tying to sailing, you know, you know whatever you want. But yep. yeah. Well, th yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess thank you for letting me stick around this long. Uh, I still don't fully know why you hired the person who came into your building and asked questions for three hours and sassed that Nick was it. without knowing who no, he was. That, no, that was it. <laughs> Anytime you're harassing a blind man, you got to be hired immediately on spot. You showed up with green hair, if I remember. We, we were correctly. live and uh, and showing other people what we're yeah. saying. Yeah. You, it was green hair, right? Didn't you have green hair? Yeah, you yeah. had green yeah, hair, green hair you time. showed up, you had a lot of questions. Yeah, we just decided if you had questions, you might as well just do something. No, fair. But yeah, thank you. Thank you, and uh, congratulations, and uh, we'll talk very soon. We'll see you mm -hmm. later. See. There we go, Sophia, one of our uh, longtime uh, VEMI students who's now a VEMI alum. And that's been really great, putting it all together. Oh, I see Emily who's helping out with all the tours. Yes, thank you, Emily. That was a good one. Um, did I miss anything in chat before I roll along? Not really. Most people just excited about uh, Sophia. Okay. Very much excitement there from Sophia. Excellent. So we'll move on. Um, 
So one of the projects that we've been working on with a company called Unar Labs, which is started by one of our alumni, Hari and uh, Nick, they have their own company looking at making applications for uh, BVI folks that are out there. And we had a little project that we've been doing with Unar Labs and we uh, continue to get more funding to do more projects with it. So. Uh, that's been a that's been great. That's been a lot of fun. So let's run into a video on that and see what we get with it. One of the projects that uh, we've been working on here, one of the research projects that took place over the last year, uh, Jess was working on with uh, Caitlin and several other folks. I think Isaac and every a lot of people were involved in a lot of projects here. But Jess went around and we were starting to look at how we can use vibration and audio cues to start to be able to show off graphs and imagery using that you often see in phones. Working with a company Unar Labs, which is actually owned by one of our alumni down in Portland, uh, we started the first half of an NSF and NIH grants in which we started to dig into how this works and how effective it is. What you can see here is a simple bar graph and although you can't get it through video, you can actually feel your way around a bar graph and there's an audio feedback that tells you what you're looking at, what the percentages are as you're moving your hand up and down. It's a great way to start including more BVI information and research into simple things that we even get back in school, like, you know, cell biology, which we used to learn back then. Anyway, just a little more research highlight that's happening here at VEMI. Hi, now look at this. We're joined right here by Jess, who's uh, just graduated today, another one of our great, great grad students who's been working with research. Hi, Jess. Hi, guys. And hey, Rick. Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone. Um, I, d listen, you've been one of our uh, big primary researchers around here helping us out, and uh, and you were here, I think. Uh, were you here when Christina was here? I was for, yeah. Just a yeah, little bit I when Christina was here, and then you've been, you've yeah. been helping us out for a while and dig into it. Um, do you, uh, I'm trying to talk, we, we just did a little short video on the project we did with Unar and the research we did with that, and I know you went out and ran all those research and all those uh, those subjects, those BVI subjects, to get us some of the data. Um, it's really hard to show it on video. Do you think you can explain a little bit more better than certainly the Rick version of exactly what it did and what we were after? Yeah. So what I was working with um, was an application that converted graphical images into um, haptic images, so ones that vibrated. And um, what we were looking at with our participants, we were comparing different ways um, to have the phone actually, or the system to vibrate and give that haptic feedback. And um, we were looking for um, blind users and or visually impaired users to um, tell us what they thought and what their preferences were. And the two forms we were looking at was um, a motor one and then also a, um, an audio one and what it would do is when you I don't know if the video showed the graphs but if you touched a bar on the graph the phone would then vibrate so people could kind of um, see where their finger was and what was really cool to watch is it is really hard to show yes. in a video um, but this worked you know people were actually able to give cor um, correct feedback on what the values of the graph were um, and like really like accurately they were able to recreate the graph that was another part they um they had to uh recreate the graph using a lego board which some of them weren't exactly happy to have to <laughs> put together legos for me but um they were good spirits about it and um uh, they uh it, they really they had a full comprehension of the graph just based on the the brief article that they read and then also the um the, the system that we use so it was my first human subject experiment but it was also really just a great experience to because it was my first real big study through the lab and it was um really cool to see how successful our, our work yeah, is. yeah and that's i mean all the work you did i know that at uh, unar is now using that data results to move forward with their software development and how they're going to be making the next iteration of that and 
and we're going to thankfully be working with them on the, the next round of the NSF round that goes through, but uh, you've been instrumental to all the research here, uh, and we're excited to at least hopefully keep you around for a couple months this summer to help us finish out a couple of research projects. Um, I know Caitlin Haas is uh, begging for it, so we'll <laughs> see if we can get that moving. But yeah, I'm hoping to yeah, stay. No, we're, we're, we're absolutely working on it in any way we can to see what we can do, get past some of uh, UMaine's bizarre regulations. But yeah, so that's that's been great. I, I got to tell you, you know, the, your work and your drive and all of that uh, for all the research and your just interest to dive into even digging into lit reviews for Caitlin or myself or Nick or anything like that has been invaluable. And uh, we can't thank you enough for all of that. So uh, you've been great. I'm glad you came back the second time. That was the, that yeah. was great. <laughs> uh, you got Paul there? Is Paul? Yeah, Paul is here. Uh, the dogs. Paul Just say hi, and, Paul. Um... Hey, Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I listen, it, it we could not have done anything without you, without everyone, but especially these research projects, being able to dive in and be willing to pick them up and, and couldn't be any more appreciative of all the work you've been doing. So. Oh, thank you, Rick. It's been, I mean, Vemi, one thing I, I really just want to speak to quickly is how much I personally have grown and learned through um, being at Vemi and working. Um, I've learned different ways of communicating, working with so many different people. That's the great thing about Vemi. There's different people, there's different disciplines. Um, I've seen the way that my own field, I'm a communication science major, so that's speech therapy. And I've seen how my field relates to the work that Vemi does, um, which is a great niche to have in my field. And I've also just, just like, I, I mean, I've, I've achieved so much through what I've learned at Vemi, I've improved tenfold in my writing skills and my researching skills, and I never would have gotten there um, without all of the people who mentored me through and even dabbled in a little bit of, I understand computers better now <laughs> too. So <laughs> thank you all so much. Hey, and it's been By the way, great. congratulations. I know you've been accepted to the master's program at the University of Iowa, is that right? Yes, yeah, and it sounds kind of put on, but they have a great CSD program. Um, and it was my goal coming into undergraduate, and I really don't believe I would have gotten there without working um, at Vemi and learning at Vemi. Well, we, so. we, listen, we appreciate it. We just give you guys the tools, and you take it, and you're one of the ones who took it and put it right to the end. So thank you. Listen, a absolutely excited to see you around here this summer, and uh, congratulations. And uh, enjoy <laughs> out there in Vermont. It's going to snow here. I don't know if it's going to snow there. Yeah, we're going to get a little bit of snow. Um, we're not exactly what we planned for, but we're definitely lucky to be in a quiet space that's not the same four walls we've been looking at since March. So we're yeah. <laughs> happy to have the change up. Well, thank you, Jess. We appreciate it. Congratulations. Have a good thank night. Thank you, guys. You too. All right. There we go. We're rolling along. I don't know what we got next. Now I'm looking down at my notes trying to figure this out. Um, yeah, one of the things that's been keeping all of this going and, and all the students that have been here uh, is that we have gotten some amazing donations over the years. Uh, I know uh, the Hamlins have given us a huge donation this year, which really went a long way to helping us build some of our BVI things. We actually, if it wasn't for their donation, we wouldn't have been able to upgrade the 3D printer in which we've been using for uh, building some of the infrared thermometers for the COVID response that we've been part of here at UMaine, helping the state and the Maine CDC and, well, companies and corporations and hospitals here on, you know, in the state. And I'm really, 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 really proud of all of our alumni who have put together and set up. We have a very special fund out there. It's an alumni fund which goes specifically to hiring a student, an undergraduate student, to keep working at VEMI. And uh, that fund is slowly, because people have been asking me, we are letting it slowly build up. And then we hopefully by September, uh, that was my plan with COVID. We'll find out what happened. But my plan is by September, uh, that fund is going to fund our first VEMI alumni 
sponsored student. So uh, really, really looking forward to that. And one of the really interesting things that a lot of people don't know is that about about 90% of VEMI is completely funded by us. And by us, I mean uh, Nick, Caitlin, and myself. And with the grants and the, uh, that we get, corporations that we work with to put together different uh, different projects that come out there, and universities and colleges that we work with. Uh, that's, just, that's just been the lifeblood of this. And then, of course, any of the donations we get from incredible folks that are out there and uh, that donate into it and we really 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 appreciate everything that you guys have where's the link to give that hannah that is a darn good point hannah i missed the heck out of you uh hannah brings up a good point where's the link to give money and he's working on it right now so uh we're gonna have that we'll drop it in chat put it on the thing i think that will all work out and we can give some money uh and help us out and help support the students and the people that are here um, we're going to be uh, looking at, once we get this link up, yes, I think we're working on it right now. There's the link in the chat. We, we should probably put the link in the thing, but we'll figure that out maybe in the post, post game. Um, but right off of the Vemi Lab page, you can donate money if you'd like to and help us out. Uh, this has been, you know, a great uh, just a great little way for us to keep funding and continuing on what we're doing. So we're going to roll right into um, uh, video, right? Whiteboards video? Is that what we're talking about? Yeah, so we're some of the work. Uh, uh, Nate Brown, who's been my uh, financial and moral accountant for a while now. I can't believe we don't, you know, uh, we should have... Uh, we get Nate, uh, I like to harass Nate, but Nate's gonna be, Nate's actually graduating this year. He's sticking around for one more semester to wrap some things up, but um, he's on there. So we're gonna show a little video here of some of the whiteboards and some of the work we did. One of the things that uh, we do here at VEMI is we have whiteboards all over the place. And basically going back to analog methods is considering how digital we are, makes everything a lot easier. This is a, section of the whiteboard and where we try to keep track of all our current funding, how much is out there, and deadlines for it. This is one of the bigger projects that Nathan Brown's been working on with me for years and just how much money we have and where it's going. This is just an easier way to look. It also looks good for the guests and the people that come by. Behind me is the now pretty uh, famous, because everyone talks about it, analog whiteboards number two. Uh, this is showing off our current research and our development projects that are happening here in the lab. And what I refer to as my holler at board, it's who's on here that I can holler at about what the hell is going on. Down here is the class schedule from uh, this semester that changes every year. And over here is just doodle or write down things that Rick should know. But this is another thing that's often talked about and we just want to make sure to cover it here. So there you go. There's the whiteboards that everyone asks us about as we move into this. There's a question out here in the chat. Is the lab fund the student fund, or do I choose other? Hmm. It's a darn good question, Stacy. And uh, without looking at it offhand. Caitlin answered the question out there. Oh, Caitlin answered the question? Laboratory fund. OK. And your money will go towards the student. Yeah, all right. Excellent. Thank you, Caitlin Haas. Our research manager hopping in. Okay, now uh, I get a very, very, very special guest. So uh, we get, can we have Maggie? Yeah, we can, have Maggie. can we get Maggie in Zoom? Hey, Maggie! Hi. Okay, for those who don't know, Maggie worked with me helping me out as, uh, what, was the, what was the title? Logistics was Coordinator. It. Maggie worked with me <laughs> for a couple of years for logistics coordinator, and then uh, we she in January we moved on to other things. But she's always been here, and as everyone's part of the family, and we haven't talked in a long time, and I missed the heck out of you. And, no, I miss I, you so much. I miss. Everyone. I miss the oh man, I miss me raging and you looking at me going, "What are you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> Just like okay, yeah. keep going. Yep. Uh -huh. yeah. You feel better. Yeah. That's all right. It all works out. <laughs> but listen, I, I, you know, I got to tell you, um, 
I absolutely loved, I really did. I loved working with you. I loved the fact that you and I were in sync. And when we had a project, you and I were right there on board with everything together. Yeah, absolutely. I loved it too. I, we just were always on the same page. Uh, I felt like I knew when you needed something before you even yelled at me. It was great. I, it was the best work experience I've ever so had. So I told, uh, I told Maggie when she was hired that one of, one of her jobs is kind of to be the lab mom and she's got to ho holler at people. And uh, Maggie and Emily took and this little side story. They took this very seriously because <laughs> people were not cleaning up things and there were places where there was a mess. And boy, I'll tell you, the amount of times I would say to Maggie, you know, go ahead, have Adam on Discord, and she get, hey, you got Hannah. I got Hannah on. Uh, hey, Hi. Hannah. <laughs> Hannah, <laughs> Hannah is Maggie's Hi. sister. For those who don't know, and Hannah also worked here at the the Vemi Lab, and Hannah's now kicking around in uh, South Korea. Oh, I'm hearing lag from two ends. <laughs> I love the fact that I got two characters in one shot. This is great. I miss you both. <laughs> We when are you, you when are you guys gonna hang out together again? Well, I mean, yeah. it was supposed to be tomorrow. Oh, but... really? Yeah, I was supposed to be in the U.S. right now. Yeah, for graduation. Heart, oh, I can't be. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, she was gonna come and visit, and she was gonna even come to the Zemi party, but you know, yeah. she's here oh. uh, in. Well, Tiny I'm glad form. we got. I'm glad we got Hannah here in tiny form. That all works out. This is fantastic. We miss you, Hannah. Um, yeah. What time is it? What time is it there? Um, what time is it? It's uh, eight thirty. in the morning. Well, I can tell you. I know one student right now, <clears throat> Theo, uh, that that would be way too early for. But yeah. Oh. I, I'm honestly, I said, hey, do you want to join in and watch this thing? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, really? Because <laughs> I was surprised she would be up this early. Oh, good. Well, I'm uh, happy to have her in there. How's it been going? How's mm -hmm. it been, how, how, I mean, before the virus kicked in, how were the kids you were working with? Yeah, I was working at a daycare. It was really great. I was enjoying it a ton. Um, I'm actually going back to work uh, within the next week or so. Um, mm -hmm. But it's really fun. I'm hoping to stay there over the next year and then go uh try and get the move to graduate school in sweden nice yeah. oh you know we're willing to help out in any way i am let me know if there's anything i can do I, absolutely i'm sure i don't I'll know, need all the I don't know I what can. my letters of recommendation do but you know whatever if they can help i'll do anything we can yeah absolutely you're, i'm just I'll, so happy I'll you're planning on still going i know we were talking about this you're planning to still going to sweden this is great yeah, and I've uh, looped Isaac in with it now, Excellent. too. Yeah. <laughs> we just got to get Isaac graduated next year. I know. We can do Come it. On. We can get We'll get him out there. No problem at all. I'm keeping him. Definitely. Oh, uh, RJ just says he's keeping Isaac. You can't have him. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll, uh, we'll have yeah, to check it out. Yeah, you guys, you and you, would, yeah, we'll, we'll have you guys duke it out in the ring. <laughs> Maggie, I miss you to death. Congratulations. I'm very, very glad you're all graduated and all that fun stuff. And uh, I'm glad Me you too. stuck your head in. We do miss the heck out of you. And I miss you guys so much. Congrats to all the other graduates. Um, I'll have to poke in. I'll still be in the area, so I'll be poking my head in once all this yeah, other, Yeah, once this know. stuff settles down, absolutely. <laughs> By the way, notice the couches away. are clean. You won't... Woo, you, you, you won't believe this. <laughs> RJ actually went and folded all the blankets and everything. So look at that. <laughs> yeah, you'll make it, I guess, without me. <laughs> it's a little thing. Thank you, Maggie. We'll talk to you later. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, man. This is getting to be a lot of fun. All right. So uh, we're getting to a point here where we're starting to kind of wrap this up a little bit. But I am happy to answer any questions. I mean, then now would be the time if uh, family, friends or anyone else or uh, Hannah wants to fight, fight. Yeah. OK. RJ can fold. RJ, can you fold? Apparently he did it on the blankets. I'm not. I'm not sure it's like a skill set. I think it was more of, you know, figuring out how to make squares, move that thing forward. But yeah, 
Um, uh, but, you know, I really, really appreciate everybody hopping in here tonight. And it's so good to see in the comments. Trust me on this one. Uh, I was, oh, that was, that was Paul. Okay, fair enough. Um, I, I am, I am so thrilled. I can tell you guys when we started this thing, I knew a lot of people from outside were going to be on this, checking this out. And, uh, I am, I feel so great about seeing everybody on here and, uh, seeing all of our alum come back and ask questions. I see we got a question from Isaac on here. Where can we get the Vemi staff face masks? Oh, these face masks? I think you have to beg Mara for them. For those who can't see it, this is the Vemi staff face mask. Yeah, all you gotta do is ask Mara for them. She might even be on chat, but we'll, we'll find out. But yeah, I don't know if we have any more. We might have to print some. Maybe we'll do a special edition. Ooh, instead of t-shirts, we'll do special edition face masks. But yeah. They are old t-shirts, says Mara. Okay, well, we're going to have to find a way to get that going. Here's a Mara shout out. Yep. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, we're going to we're going to see what we can do. We've got some ideas coming up this summer how we can operate under this bizarre new world that we're in. Uh, we did, Nick mentioned this earlier, but we did a miraculous job um, putting together our human subject research online and that I'm super proud of everyone for figuring that out. And I'm actually super proud of all our current working students who are doing amazing jobs working remotely. Even Theo who like, what did you wake up at two o'clock Theo just in order to fix a problem for me? That was very nice of you, Theo, getting up at two. Anytime I can make a little shot at Theo, I'm always happy. But anyway, but, uh, I, I had asked Theo to solve a problem, and it was like 1230, and he hadn't gotten up yet. But um, but uh, we're hoping this summer we've got some big plans moving forward, and uh, we're hoping this is at least a mild replacement for the families and friends and people that are checking this out. and a little bit to show about what we've done and what we haven't done. It, it was 12.30 on my defense. Okay, Theo, I'm sorry, it was 12.30. My apologize. Um, the, um, yeah, so I think, unless there's any other questions I missed, money gonna be the right, yep, yep, yep. Um, I think uh, we'll have Grant just post up the funds link again. I want to say, um, you want to post that in there again? Let's get that in there. Donations. Anybody wants to give the donations, there it is. We'll put that out there for you. So anyhow, um, congratulations to everyone. Uh, and we hope that this is at least a minor replacement for the fun stuff. That's <coughs> like, wow, that is loud. But congratulations. We're so happy that you're part of the Vemi family. And... Uh, uh, this has been this has been great and I appreciate you all sticking your heads in and have a good night uh, we'll talk to you later <laughs> that was loud